My name is Greta Woodward and I'm going to be giving you a brief overview of how we strategically implement e-learning, IoT and um, IT. Um, my job at the college is I'm the head of faculty for business and computing but I'm also responsible for ILT within the college. The college's key strategic aim is to be excellent in everything that we do and from that there are four priorities as you can see and one of those four priorities is excellent electronic solutions. So we actually put the use of IT, e-learning and ILT right there at the top with our strategic priorities. And I think that's the first important thing that I'd like to emphasize. That is not something we do as a sideline. It's a major part of our everyday working and has been for a long time at the college. We're building on many years of investment in information learning technologies, in our infrastructure and our IT skills. Um, this is our strategic group structure <coughs> and you can see that um, one of our key boards is the e-solutions board there it is and that's one of a small number of key boards that we have and that board will monitor every aspect of using IT at the college whether it's for learning <coughs> whether it's to support staff whether it's to develop new projects so um, I think that's the most important message perhaps from this part of the presentation is the actual place that the use of IT holds within our strategic structures. So what does that mean? What does excellent electronic solutions really mean? Um, on the side of, of the hardware, so the machinery that we have, we've been upgrading our IT infrastructure um, and that includes replacing a lot of the cabling at the college, increasing the bandwidth, upgrading switches and um, replacing IT equipment. We have a three-year program for replacing computers both for staff and students and sometimes we actually replace in less than three years because as you know computer and technology changes very very quickly. Um, and I hope when you go around the college you'll notice that the computers both our staff and students are using are very current and I think that's really important. If you're going to deliver you have to invest in the infrastructure and the equipment. Most teaching areas have interactive whiteboards and I'm sure, are you all familiar with that? Yes. Good. And have had them for some time. So that's not a new development for us. All our classrooms have a teacher's computer and um, that computer is mainly used by teachers <coughs> to take online registers. Our registers have been online for a number of years and that helps us with analysing data from registers. So we put a PC in the classroom so that the register can be taken during the class and of course that PC can then also be used if teachers want to access websites or other stored material for display or use on the interactive whiteboard. Um, two of our sites are wireless, Kilburn and <coughs> Wembley. Uh, Wilsdon, sorry, is mostly wireless. Wembley's not wireless. Um, Kilburn's a brand new centre, so we have all the latest equipment at Kilburn anyway. But we're gradually trying to move over to a wireless environment for the obvious benefits it would bring to staff and students. We also have a wide range of in-house solutions and software that's been developed by our team and we have a system called Easy I Is which is um, a system mainly used by staff and managers to manage both our students, to manage our data, <coughs> to look at how, you know, how well we're doing with keeping our students, whether they're achieving on the course um, and who they are actually. So, but Jackie will give you more information on that. We have a system um, where we can record the outcomes of a lesson observation. So when we go into a class and observe the teaching, we then enter that data into a database, which allows us then to extract information uh, uh, so that we can actually look at areas where we're doing well and areas where we're doing less well. So that's a very useful tool. Um, we have an achievement checking system, which allows us to actually when, when, when students achieve a course, we claim a certificate from an awarding body in this country, um, like Edexcel or City and Guilds. 
But before we do that, we run a second check, and that's what that system allows us to do, for the teachers to check again, actually, is this right? Did these people achieve? Um, we have a student tracking system. That system allows us to keep a track of where students are on a course. So the teacher will be able to track where a student is, which work they've completed, and that information is then displayed on the VLE to the students. So both sides can see it. And uh, the final software I wanted to mention was e-vouchers for enrichment. All students are entitled to enrichment, which is things like sporting activities, that type of thing. And we have an online system that allows students to actually order vouchers and attend an event without having to um, necessarily um, go, go and see anybody in the college to do that. <coughs> Sorry. Um, now, this is just a very small example of the systems that we have, and Jackie will give you more information, but there are very, very many systems uh, in place that have been developed in-house. It'd be very difficult to work at this college and not be able to use a <coughs> computer. Almost everything is online. The final uh, area I wanted to look at was the teaching, how we support learning in the class. We have a VLE called Moodle, which Tony is going to give much more information about than me. Um, when students log on to, the computer, to a computer, the first thing they see, the first interface is Moodle. And that's really important. They don't have to go anywhere to get to Moodle. And that's where we keep our teaching resources, information about um, a student's class, Maybe they could find their timetable there if they looked, if it's in the handbook. So that's where teachers put information for students to access. Um, we also have an EILP. An ILP is an individual learning plan. And every student should have an individual learning plan, which is about their own goals and how they're going to achieve the course, and also maybe what they would like to do when they've finished their time at the college. That's online, accessed through Moodle. And um, because Moodle is web-based, even if you're not at the college, a student can look at their individual learning plan. They can also look at Moodle. We have a lot of online teaching resources, approximately 300 different applications. Some are generic, but some are very specific to a particular learning area. <coughs> and finally, we have um, open access areas in our three LRCs, that's our learning resource centres, which you may know as a library, where students can book a computer for a period of time <coughs> outside of formal teaching time. And just to finish, I wanted to try and explain how we do this, how we support this policy. So you can see the big cog is our IT strategy, what we aim to do. And we support it in a number of ways, but the main two teams that work to keep that, that cog turning would be the technical support and MIS team, which is managed by Jackie here behind me. Um, so the technical support team, that's Garrett's team, and they will look after um, supporting the hardware, upgrading cables, dealing with computers that break down. And uh, the MIS team are responsible for managing our data, and they also have programmers who write our internal software programs. The ILT team, that's Tony's team, um, are responsible for Moodle and the VLE, for supporting staff with um, professional development, for even creating materials for staff, supporting staff who want to take on IT projects. And some of the stats that this has resulted in, um, last year when we surveyed our staff, only 3%, and that's everybody that works at the college, regardless of your job, whether you're a cleaner or a teacher, 3% um, of our staff were not confident in the use of IT. That's a very low percentage. Our lesson observations show that um, only 7% of lessons have the use of ILT as a, as a weakness, as an area that needs to be improved. Again, that, that's very low. And I have to go back a page, sorry. Um, yes, 84% of our students are satisfied with IT in the college. That's actually very high because it's very hard to satisfy people, as probably you all know, 
with IT because if a computer doesn't work once or twice, people will say they're not satisfied. So overall, I think we're quite pleased that our strategy is working, but obviously, you know, we have targets for this year as well.